Good evening, Professor. This is Anthony Palmer, and I am in your healthcare ethics class, and this is my assignment on the video transcript regarding the topic of multiple relationships as specified by Dr. Lazarus. I believe that counselors and clients have good intentions about wanting to pursue multiple relationship. Bad things could never happen then, right? That's what people with good intentions like for us to believe. But I believe that the opposite is true. Mr. Lazarus believes that it's proper and suggested that if they were to engage in multiple relationships, there needs to be proper negotiations. It's even correct to say that he suggests that counselors throw the rules out the window. Strict guidelines are given in the Code of Ethics that suggest that the counselors stray away from multiple relationships. I think it's a good idea to adhere to these. After all, they are there in place for a reason. Oftentimes, people want to partake in activities that may seem small at the beginning. For example, they'll tell the counselor maybe something so small and innocent that both parties won't think it will last in the long run and therefore it's safe to talk about. Those small conversations, however, work their way up and do something bigger that make it hard for both individuals to get out of. However, it seems as though this old school way of thought has taken a backseat to a more modern way of thinking. Lazarus, a renowned psychologist, automatically assumed that the code of ethics was bound to be broken at one point or another during the numerous sessions and even suggested that negotiations be made between the counselor and the client. Also in his view, he suggests that merely following the code of ethics to the T will diminish the effectiveness of therapeutic eve intervention. I don't agree with that argument necessarily. I believe giving a national standard like the Code of Ethics, leeway will set it up for a greater risk later on down the line. My view is that more harm than good can stem from taking the Code of Ethics lightly. On another note, I do believe that it is my job as a counselor to educate myself with new and more ways to grow even if it means taking a step back. Lazarus was a man beyond his time and thinking suggesting nature will make us adapt to his modern way of thinking. This way of thinking will help me to begin my assessment of my view on multiple relationships and how I will tackle them during my professional career. There is no set in stone way that I will address multiple relationships. For me, I believe that the best way to tackle the idea of a multiple relationship will depend on the situation. Some situations will lend themselves to having more of a lighter nature. Uh, a little give and take will work. I compare it actually to being a teacher, that's my current profession, or someone else that is in the helping profession. It's our goal as a teacher and counselor to educate and treat those seeking help. We can't be so strict that treatment becomes unrealistic. Oftentimes we will do a little more, obviously when appropriate, to gain a desired effect and response. On a daily basis and in my profession we have to engage in a plethora of multiple relationships uh, between parents, between other teachers, and between other students as well. If I follow the strict guidelines of my job there's no way my student will succeed. If I give a little my student responds more positively, and at the end of the day, we both win. The clients and children are more than just their personal issues and tests and scores. 
if done correctly and with ethics attached and adhered to, there is a greater chance that the therapeutic relationship can and will be maintained. Again, this is Anthony Palmer, and this is my view on multiple relationships in the counseling field. Thank you. Have a good night.